Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next live attack video. And this is uh, with the war against Ottoman Empire. You guys saw a live on Battle Day, or a live on War Day, whatever I call it. One of those videos of other people going in live. Uh, but today is my own attack, and I might upload this a little bit later just to spread out the live action. So you might see this a little bit later during the week. But regardless, this is from the weekend's war, and uh, hopefully I can get the three star here. We'll take a look at one of the attacks. This base has been attacked a few times, but I want to show one of the attacks because I'm also doing a mass bowler. But I'm going to make a few adjustments, which I think will have a have a good shot at getting the three star. Never easy to three star a base that has these max defenses. But, you know, I got my queen to 40 now, king is up to 32. I should be able to start 3-starring uh, some of these maxed out bases uh, because the heroes are a little bit lower level and the base design is not very well laid out. Kind of an anti-2-star type base. So taking a look at Nor Lord Nubis, we'll just kind of go times 2 for sake of time. But basically, he comes in with the baby dragons, creates the funnel, sends everything in, uh, the wall breakers open that up. A few bowlers will walk, but the most, for the most part, they go inside the base, which was kind of close here, but... Uh, you can see the, the majority go inside the base. Right there, there's like two baby dragons in the clan castle. That's where most of his things die. Um, the king is, is down. The uh, air skeletons took out some of his healers. Just uh, things go down pretty darn quickly in the core. And then that ring of defenses around the outside is still left up. So a uh, pretty good plan. But I'm going to make a few adjustments, which we'll talk about um, in just a moment. So let's go ahead and go into you doodle um, and talk about the the plan and the adjustments uh, I'm gonna make so starting off I'm going to probably just put like an I'll put a baby dragon right here its goal is to just take out these four buildings um, I'm gonna put uh, an archer there archer there just so nothing targets that by accident or anything uh, then I'm going to start off with my queen probably right here with four healers let her kind of pinball around in here pretty easy funnel as long as the baby dragon takes out those four buildings she should just start heading this direction um i'm gonna kind of pre-poison or before she even moves in actually right when uh she's only being targeted by this i'm going to drop down a cc of level eight giants so that's quite a bit of tankage uh what's that seven level eight giants with two healers so that should keep them up for a little while um that way the queen only has to deal with probably these two point defense right here, those two archer towers. Um, as soon as she triggers the CC troops, which she will, as she steps up to target these buildings, I will pre-poison here, and that's probably it. I'll probably just drop one poison, save the second poison for the core, for air traps, the heroes, all that stuff. Um, there's like two baby dragons, like you saw, and some minions inside the CC, so they should go down. I'll pop her ability probably. Um, I'm almost sure I'll need it, so I'll just use her ability right there. Uh, as soon as the giants go down too, I'll probably have like a bowler right here, one or two wizards. Uh, just take out that stuff on that side of the base. This expo should be on the giants, so that all should be good. I'm going to wall breaker in uh, right, is it right there? Was that what I just, yeah, I think I decided right there. So I'll have to get that done before the queen takes out this DE storage, otherwise the wall breakers might get kind of crazy on me. So I'll try to get that going. Um, from there, I'm just going to drop down my jump. I only have one jump spell. I'm going to rage, and I have two freezes. I think the freeze spells are going to be the difference because I can... F f a few things. They won't have to deal with the CC troops. The queen should take those out. So that's huge for my bowlers. The two freezes should allow the healers to really um, get the bowlers back to full health. Uh, I'll freeze pretty early in that first inferno. Then I can get some pretty good value right here. There's Teslas and stuff. I can freeze like three or four buildings, which is great value for those free spells. I have a second rage for the core. And really for this outer ring, what I'm hoping is that the second bounce of the bowlers will take out some of these buildings along out here because everything's lined up pretty nicely. If the bowlers target the air defense or the cannon or something like that, the second bounce should, if I'm lucky, get one of those uh, point defense behind. I do have like four balloons, which I'll use just kind of surgically where I need them. But for the most part, I'm hoping that they can get through the core very quickly and have enough juice to just kind of fight through and get to that next layer because I don't want to have to invest a double or, an, or a second jump spell. I want to have both those freezes and both the rages. So yeah, hope that makes sense. I think that's the plan. Let's go ahead and go back into Clash. Pretty late in the war. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself for, for waiting this long to attack. There's only like 30 minutes left. 
25, yeah, so not the best uh, uh, logistically the, when I'm actually doing this attack, not the best timing, but uh, it is what it is. I think I have everything, got the giants, the poisons, heroes, all the spells, and I have a few minions which I'll drop for cleanup, I have two wizards, um, the baby dragon, and I had those new level 6 wall breakers, which is nice. I don't have to bring 4. I can now bring 3, which is a little thing, but it helps. I have the 17 bowlers. Um, yeah, everything's looking great. I think we're just about ready to do this. Okay, might have just had a 3 star also. Do I have my poisons? Yeah. And I'll give this guy a poison. Because I actually have 2 of them. Okay, everything looks good. Number 5 is the base we're looking at. The top town hall 10. And just one more time, baby dragon, archers, the queen, giants. Yeah, a lot to do, but I think I if everything goes smoothly, I think this should get the three star. So let's go ahead and get this attack going. It's a lot of words in Spanish. Um Okay, get the baby dragon right here. Archer, archer. We'll let that baby dragon, we'll give it just a moment to take out those buildings. And queen, three, four. And giants, one, two. Bowler, bowler. CC troops are already out. I might not even have to use the queen's ability. Ooh, the giants are already through, actually. This is kind of a big cluster. Ah, uh, the queen's walking on me. Uh, hard to tell, guys. <laughs> I don't even know. Look at that inferno. Wow, everything died. Oh my! Oh. Everything died really quickly. Um, I thought those giants would trigger. I, I think the giants did trigger the double set of bombs. The queen didn't go in along with all four of her healers, so that was a lot of healers that were diverted from the um, from the the, the bowlers. Uh, tough war for me. Two fails. Um, yeah, tough war. I guess I'm a little bit rusty, maybe, for not attacking for a while. But um, hopefully, um, I think I'm in the next arranged war, which is a week from now. So hopefully I can do some friendly challenges and get my skills uh, back back up where they should be. I don't know when I'm going to deploy the rest of this stuff, really. I mean, the queen will keep walking. I guess I will just put, like, minions here. Then like a wizard to help the queen. Um, she's going to go inside the base here. And I guess let's pop her ability. We'll take a look at the replay as soon as this is done. Um... So I'll actually, I'll actually get pretty good percentage, I guess. Just if that core had gone down, I mean, the queen has taken out a lot of the base right here. So if that, if the rest of the core had gone down somehow, the queen could have definitely cleaned up the rest of this base. Let's drop the archer right there. Pop her ability. Yeah, she didn't even need the ability, actually. So we'll take a look at the replay. Um... Just another one of those weird things where things don't do as well as they should have in the core. Um, looks like we got a three-star wall while I was attacking. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the replay here. 81%. Um, not enough to make the, the best attack on there. But let's fast forward to the start here and take a look at what happens. So the baby dragon goes down. Um, have the archers on the builder's hut. So everything goes to plan. The baby dragon gets good value. Um, that's all I needed was those four buildings. I think it gets a few more after 
Um, it might go down to that air defense, but it doesn't matter. The queen is down. The funneling is fine for the queen. I guess <clears throat> the giants got through the wall quicker than I thought they would. I guess I didn't even need those wall breakers. And the CC troops came out faster than I thought also. Um, so right here, I wonder what made the queen go the wrong way. That's kind of what I want to know. Um, so the queen actually doesn't even need to, don't need her ability, but things are moving faster than I thought. There go the giant bombs. Um, some giants go flying the spring traps. I guess all the giants are dead at this point, which doesn't help because there's not nothing really tanking. Uh, right there, the queen, I don't know. She, I think she should have targeted those CC troops. Um, maybe the bowlers were a tad early, but the giants were dying. So there, another giant bomb goes off, uh, there's like one healer left. I needed those four healers inside the core is what I needed. Uh, the freeze spell timing was good. Maybe a little bit late on that first freeze. But the second freeze was spot on. That inferno is pretty much deactivated for the entire time. It just really was the all the point defense in there. There was nothing to tank for it. The queen definitely would have been help, a help. Plus her four healers. Um, yeah, and then from there we know what happens. Let's take a look at the replay one more time see what the queen's decision was because i didn't even catch that in the replay really what made her walk the wrong way um let me tell him i'll, I'll kick some bowlers um i'm gonna back out actually and make him some bowlers then we'll take a look at the replay again because i do have my barracks boosting because i was like spacing out on time here in this war um let him know i'm boosting my barracks or actually maybe he already got failed i don't know um okay Back to my replay, taking a look at this. Let's go ahead and fast forward to when I, when the queen made her fateful decision. So uh, once again, she goes down right here. The uh, the bowlers maybe take out the cannon or something. Let's take a look at this. Slow down. Right there, the DE storage is down. Um, right here. Okay. She just <clears throat> she just started walking the other way. It was that elixir storage or the minions. I thought she would target the minions, but I guess not. Um, taking a look at this, as we let me just talk a little bit about what I would change, really, on this attack. I think that the plan actually was good. If there was a way I could drop the giants later, because I think the giants kind of catalyzed the whole problem. They went down early, they started dying, um, that there was nothing to tank for the bowlers. I also felt obligated to drop those bowlers sooner, and they took out buildings that would have had the queen... Um, that would have pulled the queen over and pulled her healers over to get the bowlers healed back up. So, honestly, yeah, that's the changes I would make. I guess I would uh, drop those giants later because you saw I didn't even need the queen's ability. So maybe I could have gotten away with the queen just kind of doing her walk, even with all that point defense, just pop her ability, uh, let her take out the CC troops, then get those giants down while her ability is going so the, the defense is retarget or something. So I think the plan was good, just a small... Small problem, those level 8 giants are pretty powerful if you can get them in the base, so wasn't able to do it, but I uh, hope you guys liked the attack, and I was planning on doing a face cam for this, but I just, busy this morning, um, the lighting's off, and it's kind of a editing issue trying to get the face cam somewhere on the video where it doesn't block the the actual attack itself, so I'm going to figure that out, maybe in the next live attack you'll see a face cam, maybe not. We'll see, but thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked it, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bisectatron out.